Okay, so Paul, okay, so you've distinguished between two forms: the emotional empathy, em emotional empathy, and cognitive empathy. One thing I'm curious about is whether empathy is unique to humans. Uh, where does it come from? Why do we why do we have this ability to empathize, or do other species share it as well? Is it something that's unique to the human experience and the, and the human mind? So those are a cluster of good questions, which you don't entirely know the answers to. We know that other species have some amount of kindness or compassion or caring. Many mammals care for their young. Um, they is many, many, you know, primates have what you call friends. They have other other members of the species they hang out with, they support, they groom, they help, and everything like that. Feeling other people's pain is a little bit unknown how much empathy you get. And you can ask, and part of the question is, um, it, it, there's all sorts of evolutionary reasons why we might evolve to be kind and loving and caring. You know, it's kin selection. We share genes with many people and we want to help them because that's the way our genes propagate. There's what um, evolutionary biologists call reciprocal altruism or mutuality where you and I, I care for you, you care for me. As a result, we both do better in life. But where does empathy come from? Why would you want to feel what someone else feels like? Mm -hmm. And nobody quite knows but one prominent theory is it has a lot to do with parenting and particularly um, a mother's bond with her baby so hormones that are involved in empathy get released during pregnancy and childbirth for instance and um, and it may be an adaptation for that purpose interesting so it's rooted in in a very i guess primal relationship that we have um, arguably yeah right